Hello, uh, this is Dr. Fu, and in this video, uh, I'm going to show you how to make a XY plot um, for FSQCA analysis. Uh, so many of you have seen um, plots like this, right? Um, where you have a um, configuration on the x-axis and you have the outcome set as y-axis. Um, but the FSQCA software only allow you to put one um, construct on the x-axis and one construct on the y-axis. So how can you put a configuration on the x-axis? Well, um, it's really just you calculate them first. Yes, you um, you calculate them either manually in Excel or you can do it in SPSS. Um, so let's say you got this data set that you have A, B, C, D, E, uh, five constructs, causal constructs, and you have the P as the outcome construct. So um, let's also assume that you want to plot P against little letter A, little letter B, little big uh a big letter capital letter D uh, for some reason. Let's say you this you know you want to do a predictive validity test, whatever. Um I'm just gonna highlight it so that you know this is a we want to do this for the x-axis and you want to do this for the y-axis. Alright, so the first thing is to calculate this new construct A, B, D. Um, let's see if we can do it in the FSQCA software. If not, we can do it in SPSS. I mean, you can basically do it in any software. You can do it in Excel. Um, let's see if we want, if we import this data. Um, many people wonder how to calculate this lower case, like the small letter A and small letter B. Well, that's really just the, the negative of the, um, the set. So it's all the members that are not included in the set. So, um, it's really just one minus whatever you know the set membership and a case is in the set. So let's say I want to calculate the set membership of lowercase a. So that will be one minus the set membership of the big letter a, right? So that's you enter equal and one minus and click on the cell right? and you can just drag it down. So that's lowercase a. It's it's really just that. Um, if you want to trace the reasoning for this calculation, you can check the uh, Regis book. You know, redesigning social, redesigning social research. Um, yeah, it's, it it describes the steps in that book. Redesigning social inquiry, fuzzy sets and beyond research. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna go into that, but yeah, you can find it somewhere in this book. It, it says it gives you all the calculation procedures and describe it either mathematically or verbally. Um, so then you can do it that way, or you can do it in SPSS, you know, using the calculate compute function. Same. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna do it in Excel because everybody knows Excel. And um, and then um, how do you calculate the set membership of, of lowercase a, lowercase b, uh, capital letter D? This is not a multiplication. 
Um, this is actually an intersection of the three sets. So this, this sets, this sets, and this sets. You want to do the intersection of their sets. How to do that? Um, based on Regin's book, um, the set membership of the, the degree of membership of a um, configuration is the degree of membership of a case in the um, the set that's the lowest so, so what do I mean okay um, let's say this case all right the first case this is the degree of membership of this case in set D it's 0 0.88 and this is a degree of membership of this case in set A lowercase a it's 0 0.722, right? And this is a degree of membership of this case in set lowercase b. So the degree of membership of this case in set a, b, d would be the smallest of the three. Okay, so we consider this set membership, and this set membership, and this set membership, and calculate the minimum. So that would be 0 0.722. Yeah, that, that's how you do it. You just, you just calculate the minimum among the three. All right, so you can do the same as the second case, and that would be um, this one. So, yeah, you can just do it in Excel because, uh, you know, we don't really have a large sample size to start with that's why you use fsqc methods um so you can just drag it down make it a two decimal place that's fine yeah and uh you import this into the fsqc software mine is a older version it's fine and uh, let's do the plot Okay, so you first open the data that we just updated. So you got this column, right? The construct ABD. You know that's really the um, the configuration, degree of membership of the kind of configuration. And you have the Y, that's your outcome set. It's this column. Um, it's already a binary variable, so I don't need to calibrate it. And you just do the plot. Let's see, um, graphs, fuzzy, one XY plot. So the title is, I really don't care what the title is, but you can do, eh, if you want to do, if it's a, you know, test of predictability, test of model one, some something to do with data from something that's fine. Um, I'm just going to put test, right, and y-axis, you want the P, so just put P in there, is it negate? No, we don't need negate. X-axis, the degree of membership in the configuration, you know that's a capital letter D, right? Yeah, it shows the lowercase d because this uh, uh, I have an older version of this software if you have a um, the newer one probably better you can label um, my p is a smartphone assisted learning whatever that is I'll put it there and this is a really a degree of membership in this um, configuration. I mean, you can, you know, just mimic what other people are doing. They just put the, the variable name. Uh, this Matilda means a negate of that set. It doesn't matter, you give it a name. A, B, and capital letter D. All right. Um, case ID, no I don't, 
need that and uh, just plot. Okay. Well, that's a you know our y variable is a binary variable. Let's try a different one. All right, let's try to plot. Let's try a, a fuzzy set one. Let's see. Um. um let's put um. What I can do. C. Okay. Let's use the configuration of A and B and capital letter D to predict C, which is parental involvement. Great. Let's try this. Okay, so it's parental involvement, whatever that is, and do I plot? Okay, so is that good or bad? Um, it's actually good. Okay, if you want to why, uh, read this book about the XY plot. Um, can I show you the page number? Do, 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 do. XY plot. Okay. Yeah. Anyways, you want you want the plot to be the upper left corner. You want you want the dots to be on the upper left corner. That's the overall conclusion. Um, it basically means that the degree of membership in the Y set is larger than the degrees of membership in the X set. That's overall what it means. Anyways, but you know, you, you got it. This is how we make this XY plot. Thanks for watching. Um, yeah, check out my other videos.